welcome back to China Spot. <clears throat> this product, Home Store, the Home Store, Foaman Super Oxygen Bathroom Cleaner Sprays, Blue Turns, White Wind Clean, Fresh Scent. This is in comparison to the Kaboom product that sells for $5.00. Where this is a 12 ounce can and it sells for a dollar. And to be honest, the citrus smell in this can to me smells way better than citrus in the kaboom. And it's equivalent. You spray it on your toilet item or your sink or your bathroom or whatever. And you let it set and let it turn white. I do extra steps, of course, because that's me. I'm an extra person. So I spray down my toilet extender at least once a day, outside and in. I let it wash or whatever. I'll rinse it down with a paper towel and some water, and then I'll go back over it with some dry paper towels. Now when I'm in one of those days that I gotta beat down the toilet, then you know that's a whole different thing. I'll add my comment or Ajax to the water. I'll take any little fragments of soap pieces that I have left from the bathroom, whether it's the shower or the sink. I'll throw that in there. I'll squeeze some liquid bleach mixed with dish liquid because I put it in a bottle like that I'll squeeze some of that in there and I'll let it set and then I'll go back and go over with the toilet brush and scrub it out real good the rim you know the bowl the whole nine let it sit for half an hour to an hour then I'll go back with this blue bathroom cleaner from home store and I'll spray the rim and everything, and I'll wipe that down, and then turn around and wipe it down with water, and then turn around and let it dry. And then I'll take my bathroom extender. No, I'm not elderly, but I noticed since I'm having so many health pro problems, excuse me, the bath extender helps lift me up on the toilet so my knees aren't so far down. And I'll spray it while it's on the floor. I mean, I'll spray it. I'll spray the hell out of it. The back, the underside, the inside of it, the top. And I'll let it melt on down to its whiteness like it's supposed to. Take me a paper towel, wipe it down. A wet paper towel, wipe it down. Get all any smudges and whatever off. all sides and then I'll attach it back to the toilet and it's ready to go again. I try to do that at least twice a week because it's just only me and you know company every so often. It's not like I have company every day but I do like to keep my bathroom smelling as fresh as possible and then once I do that I'll take everything off my bathroom sink, spray it down and do it and you know on and on and on. I have a big shower, so what I usually do is I'll take the plastic up from my big shower and spray this. I'll usually put the dish liquid in the comment down there, I ain't gonna lie. Take my spin brush mop after it done sat for a while because I take that spin brush mop and I leave bleach and water in the bucket so anytime there's a spill, all I gotta do is spin the mop out and then wipe up the spill. So I'll spin out the mop. Wipe down the bottom of the shower with the mop. Unfortunately, that's what I have to do to keep the pain off my knees. Because I'm always in pain, which you know. And so, it alleviates the pressure. And then after I mop it down with the bleach and stuff. And rinse it out. I'll take my home store blue spray. And spray that at the bottom of my um, shower. Turn the shower on hot, let it run it out after it's turned white, 
let it air dry, and I'm good to go. My bathroom is clean, although I didn't have to get all on my knees scrubbing and doing the usual that I do. So if this is a product that you feel you need in your life or would like to try, it's well worth having in your cleaning arsenal. So thumbs up if you like my video, thumbs down if you don't, and why, please subscribe. I appreciate you all. I love you. From me to you. Bye-bye. I love you. <clears throat>